Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this gentleman has asked me how I would draw this. He's already drawn it. He's going to be cutting out with a plasma cutter. And I've got the advantage because I've already got a file. I really wish you would, if you have a bracket that somebody wants replaced, if you could take a photograph of the blank of bracket, I could show you how to start from scratch. But what, what I do know, I do know that this is a 0.375 hole, is an eight by eight square, and I need to know the radius of the corners. Well, I can take my parallel dimension tool and grab that node to that node, and I've got seven inches. Let's double check that. Let's zoom in here. I'm out of See where it says node to node, seven inches. So it's eight inches. Seven inches is uh, a half inch different or a one inch different. So let's draw, holding down the control button, draw a perfect square, make it eight inches. With your ratio locked up here, so we've got a half inch on each side. So we need to 0.5 rounded radiuses. Now, that's because it brought it to a seven. And if you see, mine's a perfect match. So what I'm gonna go and do, I'm gonna put mine in the center of the page. So we've got that part, that was the easy part. The holes are 0.375. If you have the part in hand, I would invest in a good pair of cal calipers and I would get my calipers out and measure from the either the edge of the hole or the center of the hole. Uh, Corel lets you measure from the, back, the exact center of the hole. Those holes are six inches apart. How much easier can it get? Six inch nudge distance. Hit the plus key on your keyboard and nudge it over six inches. Now, how far are they the other way? Hopefully they're the same. They're six inches. It's getting easier and easier. So now take your nudge, hit your nudge distance up. Group these together, control G, hit P. I'm hoping that my holes are exactly where his holes are. Control G to group it together and hit P. My holes are exactly on top of his holes. You can't see them. Let's nudge that out of the way. Let's keep going. Now, let's say you, you do have the part in hand. This line is probably going to be the most difficult, but I would bring in an indexing line and have it snap to that node. And if you notice, his line isn't perfect. Take this and snap it to that node. How, how uh, one, I would like to correct that before I continue, but I'm not going to. So what's the distance between these two lines? Let me see if we have snap to guidelines on. Grab the parallel dimension tool and snap to that node, to that node, and we've got a, a one a one sixth of an inch. So we can do a couple of things. Let's try this first. Let's take a two point line and go from, well, let's do this first. Let's bring in another indexing line and snap it to there, and another indexing line and snap it to there and then take a two point line, start, get on that edge, start moving it down and have it snap to there. Now our line's basically the same. That's gonna change a little bit when we curve it. But if you remember, it's 0.6 of an arc or 0.6, I was afraid of that. Let me, uh, let me move this out of the way. <clears throat> Let's take the shape tool and add a node in the center. I just click plus. Let's select them all 
and let's make them a curve. Now let's take this one. Hopefully this will work and we'll nudge it 0.6 of an inch. Not sure it's going to work. And it didn't. Um, let's try this. Let's select it all, right click, and turn them into symmetrical. Nope. Let's try, select them all, right click, and turn them into smooth. Nope. Not really going to help us. Um, maybe somebody else will chime in. But you could also take these and just move that arrow to where it's in that line. Now you'd want to make this perfect, so we'll check it out in a minute. Just move this line till they meet. Let's see how close we are. Nope, not close at all. So I wouldn't do that. I would take now the three point line. If, if you have, well, it, if you had a picture of it, you could go from that node to that node and basically hold down the control button so it'll be perfect. And I'm not on that node at the bottom. I've got so many lines and indexing lines, but we can take this and put it on that intersection. So that's a pretty close line. What this line is for, it's gonna be for tightening up a belt. <clears throat> How do we make that line that slot? Well, we need to know how wide this slot is. Take the parallel dimension tool and try to go perpendicular. So it's 0 0.31. So we need to take this line, go up to uh, inches, and 0.31 is not going to be in there, but you can type in 0.31. Now we need to grab it again, double click on it and use line caps that are round. Now we need to go to object and turn the outline into an object, left click, right click. And we're a little bit long, but in this case, that wouldn't be a bad thing. Long in this, this is for tightening up a belt. So backing up, you could have made it shorter. Now, how do we get that line perfectly where it needs to be from the other parts? Let's do this. Let's group all this together, Control G and hit P, put it in the center page it is. Let's take our new line and hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then if you have your part, I'm almost hoping he'll send me a picture later, from the center of that hole to the edge of that item, parallel dimension tool, one and a third inch, 1.3. So let's take this, this is in the center of the page. Our indexing lines are not because his, his lines aren't, but we don't really care about it because we're in the center of the page. Let's draw another indexing line. I'm making most of this stuff up as I go. Take this, holding down the control button and move it to that spot. Then change your nudge factor to 1.3 and just nudge it over. That should be pretty close to the same spot. And it is. Mine's just a little bit longer, and that's not really a problem. One more little item, and it would be this curvature. And I'm going to break right here and make another part. Uh, try not to make my videos so long. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.